Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2019. This is the stand of Rapido, French uh, manufacturer of motorhomes. This is their 2020 range and the vehicle we're now going to look at is this one here, which is on an Alco chassis on a uh, Fiat base. It's got a, you can see up there it says it's got single beds in a large queen size bed layout. This is the Distinction i66. You can see, for example, uh, the 2018 version I filmed some two years ago and uh, on my website it costs 109,000 euros. Kickoff is 91,000. And so it's got about what 18,000 or so of extras. So they've had uh, you've got an upgrade to the engine. You've got a nine-speed uh, automatic gearbox has just been introduced. It's got these um, wheel wheel cap hubs. There you go. That thing there is costing uh, well, it's 1,290 for the lot. So it's three. Uh, what's that? Uh, 350. No, it's not. Sorry, I got that wrong. Um, oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, good at mathematics. That's embarrassing. Three. <laughs> I've, I've got a block, but it's over 300 euros for one of them, 322 euros for that. And um, uh, what else? Oh, it's got the leather, uh, the leather seating, 2,630. But it's also got this Rapido Executive Pack, right? So there you go, Rapido Executive Pack, 2,490, which includes this, which includes the rear, re the reversing camera and the screen for the radio, and uh, some put the Alco. Uh, uh, chassis additions and um, but but also got a, um, memory foam bed, uh, it, but it also includes yeah you know, leather. So I don't know. Seems to have the same thing twice. But I don't know. That means not just this company. It's lots of companies seem to do that. Now uh, I'm going to mention also uh, a little bit about the the, the chassis because uh, when Lots of people, for example, they, they, they do look at what it looks like inside, right? And, now, and if I do these uh, reviews or tours, and what I'm concentrating on is the vehicle inside. I'm looking at the cosmetic. Um, it's, I'm looking at the, the looks, but uh, not really thinking of the spirit and the heart, if you like, which is the chassis and how the chassis unit works. And uh, that, that's very important because uh, the lightweight chassis means you can carry more, you can, it, it helps uh, insulation, keeps the weight down. So, anyway, right, so you see this one here, it's got this uh, bed up front. Right, it's got um, you know they've got this gap here between the, uh, the these lockers. Now I'm going to show you. Okay, so that goes up there. It's now touching touching the roof. Uh, I'll show you inside as well. Yeah. It's got a bit of a ledge, but on the subject of storage, what's the point of this thing here? Yeah, what this thing is this guitar string that goes around like that. I don't know, are you going to store things up there? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, this layout, I've noticed, in more vans this year than before, it's called Face to Face. And, uh, okay, it gives a bit space around the, the table. And the table, I think, is large enough for four people, which is also four people are sleeping here. You've got this thing here, the sideboard, integrated into the um, the bit at the front there and also it's got an electric uh, blind that goes up uh, to blackout so that's easy to use. In the kitchen we have got a theft, or in this case it's a Rapido uh, oven and uh, I'll open this up and now central locking can't open it okay well, there was only one of them there, so I'll demonstrate on this side. There you go. Open that up. Chopping board. Open that up. Oh, there's the bin. 
central locking. Two burners. Good idea or not? I don't think that I use very often uh, three burners. That's me. You may think, well, I want to spend all that money on a van. I want three burners, but no, I think that's okay. whatever you think. Whatever you think. If you want three burners, you've got to get a different van, and you've got a bit there for your kitchen paper. It's got to go somewhere. Big fat fridge. There's your television. Well, sorry, it's, uh, it's not an invisible television, that's where the television would go. I heard that at this event, somebody told me, somebody actually stole one of the televisions from one of the vans. Mm. I've heard them stealing small things, but this happened at this event here. Right, door closes there, toilet. I want to use a handy cam which does not have a very wide angle. But the problem is that my mirrorless camera is overheating, which happens quite quite a lot. Okay, and so here's the uh, Double bed and qu queen, single bed. Sorry, in in in, in queen bed layout, uh, which it uh, mentioned. Now this bit here comes up, yeah, but it's sorry. This bit comes up like that. That's it. I've seen better solutions in other bands, such as Cartago. I've got to point out that the, the water is a bit deep. Here's the heating system. Good place, I think, to have it in the bedroom, although it might have been better further up the wall somewhere, I suspect. Aldi heating. Aldi costs more than Truma. Is it better? Well, uh, I don't know. I'm unable to. I'm unable to say. I haven't. Uh, I haven't tried them both in uh, low temperatures. Uh, one thing I noticed at the back, you've got this ledge either side. You see that? You've got a ledge there, and a ledge there. I rather think it would have been better to have continued the uh, uh, storage compartment. In the shower, there's only one plug hole, but it's in the centre, so that's, that's if you only have one, that's the best bit. But I'd rather have two. That's a good idea, so I'm going to sit down. And you have a mirror, so you can see yourself as you're leaving. I don't know if I gave you the, uh, the, um, the details, but 754 centimetres long, 235 wide, 289 high. Hmm. It's not much longer than my van, and it's got so much more in it. Now, Rapido is, still belongs to the uh, company which. Um, Sorry, the family who originally founded it. I'll show you a quick, I'll have a quick walk around the rest of the stand. To show you some of the, got some big vans here, a bit smaller. Got some vans which are even bigger than this one. This one here at the back here, this this is the XL Vaughan Zimmer Heck Lounge. That 
uh, is really odd. It's a, a cinema on wheels. See that in a different film. See, they're, 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 t they're cleaning up here, uh, but um, obviously people are coming onto the, uh, uh, the stand during the day. The, uh, so the event will start, I think, around 40 minutes time, something like that. I've got to get in early. You know, I've got to be able to film when there's uh, no one around. Okay, right, and so down there you've got some Rapido uh, uh, camper vans as well. And they also started a new brand called Dreamer with, um, with camper vans. I think part of the problem here is that I don't quite understand the branding ideas. I think often that the companies that they're in competition with themselves, that is what appears to me. I mean, if I were in charge of uh, some of these companies, I think I would, uh, I would try and make the brand differentiation, differentiation much clearer. Anyway, that's my opinion. Okay, so this is the dis distinction I-66 motorhome from Rapido. Here at Caravan Salon.